of different countries, fursonas. Fursonas? Oh god. A fursona is personally disclaimed persona resembling an anamorphic animal adopted by okay. How do I choose a fursona? <laughs> choose a species for your fursona. Damn, I need to pick one of these. Well, according to this map, all the Germans have chosen an eagle fursona or some sort of flying creature. It actually looks more cute on their coat of arms. Whenever I see their passports, I'm now going to be thinking of this image. We got the nation of Spain that went with a lion fursona. It's like walking with its tongue out too. And it's got a similar thing going on. I like how some of the Balkan nations have chosen mythical personas. I didn't know you could do that. Can I be a Bigfoot furry? Someone needs to tell Europe quick there's more than just bird and lion personas out there. Yeah, like at least pick a bull. My solution to the Israel-Palestine conflict. We have the new Polish strip as well as British controlled Northern Ireland. What? Well, is it still technically British controlled? I don't know. Also, they still get to divide an island. So good for them. Finally, a geometrically accurate way to divide Europe. Finally, this debate is over. The pig nations, Portugal, Spain, Italy, and Greece can no longer be called just South Europe. They're actually Southwestern, according to geometry. Also, Ireland, the UK, Northern France, Northern Germany, the Lowlands, Denmark, and of course, all the Scandinavian countries, those are Northwestern Europe countries. They gotta start putting at least two directions. Finland, Russia, and a piece of the Baltics are Northeastern, and finally, Southeastern. I'm sorry, there's no debating this. Like, this is just fact. Why did Google forget to add Google Street View to Africa? Are they stupid? This seems like a pretty big thing to just forget like that. And to think they put so much detail on Europe, too. Luckily, this should be like a two-second fix. How to say the number one in different languages. Wait, I just realized I can't really do this correctly. It doesn't work if I actually say the number one. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this is the number, and this is how you would say it in the other languages. I'm glad all the other languages still use this symbol as one. Oh, wait, I forgot about that. Why does the U.S. not have a name for this state? Did they just completely forget about it, or what? Oh, we're so stupid. And look, that's not the only one. We also apparently forgot to name this state that's encircled by Utah. It's so blue up here, so much prettier than ugly Utah. Maybe we can leave the solution to this problem up to Michigan and Wisconsin. Like, instead of messing up having 50 states, we should probably just give this to Wisconsin. Like, that would make sense. Imagine being stupid and giving this to Michigan. <laughs> That would be so dumb. Potential EU leaving names. So everyone knows about Brexit. That was like the original EU leaving name, obviously. So far, the only one. But if Germany leaves, we have Germ over. I feel like there's gotta be something better than that. For the Netherlands, we've got Ditch. That, I mean, barely makes sense. Bell gone. Adieu. This is so f I can't, I don't know if I can keep reading these. X. <laughs> Port to go. Oh, this is so bad. Finitely. Oh, cause fiend. Hellas? No. Bulgaria? No mania. Full for hungry. Why? Checking out. Austria la vista. I really wish I could read this one for Luxembourg, but the image is like 240 quality. Eggs pole. Lithuania. Lat via X. I don't even get a lot of these. What are the Baltics even doing? Denmark, sweet exit and fix it. I'm so glad that it wasn't like the normal Brexit names that we've seen for a couple years now. I gotta admit, at least these were more, I don't want to say original, but they were something all right. I feel like with some of these countries, we've already figured out better ones though. No, Asia. All right. Maybe not all of these are bangers. Never mind. <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> Hey guys, geography question. What is this weird black lake in Poland? I feel like I've never noticed it before. Has Poland been hiding their weird mouse-shaped lake for this entire time? What else are they keeping from us? Actually, I already have the answer to that. Not only are they hiding their weird black arrow-shaped lake, but also the fact that there's a giant red circle around it too. Did Poland decide to make a giant red wall for whatever reason around their lake? And then there's the each country's most popular fetish. In the US, we've got teeth falling out. I know that's definitely what gets me Ah, uh, yes, Guatemala with lice. <laughs> How about Costa Rica with the dead? <laughs> I don't even know if I can keep doing this. A lot of snakes and spiders, weirdly. More furries, I guess. That's a strange fetish, Algeria. Just squirrels. X, relationships. Pretty tame for this. A lot of pregnancy, snakes, hat, grapes. I mean, understandable. Okay, no, this is clearly a map about each country's worst nightmare or, like, most common dream they have. But you could make an argument that that might have some weird crossover with this subject. An ultra-rare photo of the Korean Peninsula at night. I think I've seen this image like a hundred times, but this is probably the most detailed one. Clearly, that's Pyongyang, because everything else around North Korea is just dark. They don't have a whole lot of lights. It's only in the south. What else did you expect? And Busan, South Korea, looks like a bad
banger city. Okay, what is this actually, though? It's actually bothering me. What is this? Rotate 90 degrees. Oh! Oh my god, I live in North Korea! Believe it or not, the country of France is closer to France. The country of France is closer to France than it is to France. Yes. France just had to give every continent a little piece of their country, didn't they? God. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I got horrible news. I have to confirm, France is real. And I was really hoping it was just part of this simulation. I wanted it to just be a nightmare. A leaked document has revealed how the United States is going to be divided after World War III. Canada's going to get the vast majority of states up here, all the northern ones. But they actually get as far down as the northern parts of Mississippi and Alabama. How is that fair? Mexico gets all their old territory back, except for like little parts in the north. And to make up for that, they also get Arkansas, Oklahoma, and a lot of Mississippi. Cuba, for their efforts in almost bombing us into oblivion back in the 60s gets this piece of Alabama. Fidel deserves something. And the Bahamas, well, the, I guess whoever defeats us in World War III, they just really like the Bahamas. I would assume part of it would be Russia, which is why they gave uh, Russia a lot of Alaska. Not all of it, though. I think clearly Canada is going to have to defeat us after World War III. That's what's going to happen. Along with this Pacific Island ally, they're so powerful. It's almost like their plan to divide up the United States is actually just a map showing what country is closest to well, the United States. Which part of the U.S. is closest to which country? I mean, that is kind of the way we divided up Germany after World War II. Just don't ask me how the U.S. got Bavaria. The worst individual part of each European country. And you know this one is real, too? Because it literally says, parentheses, facts. Oh. Baba boy. So the worst individual part of the U.K. is England? I mean, I, we saw that coming. The worst individual part of Ireland is just all the stuff that borders Northern Ireland. <laughs> I love the poop color they chose to go with all this stuff. In France, of of course, it's Paris, but for all the countries that directly border France, it's just the territory that's closest to France. <laughs> the France slander just doesn't stop today. Belgium, it's just the whole thing. Spain has two individual parts, obviously the French parts, but just all of the Spanish-speaking parts, the middle part of Spain. The areas that don't actually speak Spanish, they're they're in the clear. Portugal, I think, is just Lisbon. Italy, it's Sicily. Really, Sicily? I, uh, what? Again, Turkey, all of it. Bulgaria, the eastern side. Romania, the uh, Romanian side. Hungary, all of it. Bosnia, all of it. Uh, a lot of Serbia. Oh, all the countries that border Hungary. That's their worst part. Okay. Poland, the Polish side. I can literally see World War One Germany right here. Is this Frankfurt? Oh, that's so sweet. Denmark and Sweden's worst parts are closest to each other. It's kind of romantic. Ukraine, just the Russian side. Albania with all their bunkers in a perfectly straight and horizontal line. And then Macedonia went with their flag. Is that how they came up with this design? They knew this was already the worst parts of their country. They just said, let's slap that on our flag now. All right. Well, uh, who agrees? Is this map intended to show where you took poops? Oh, it's constantly being updated. Oh, is that an imperial Japanese flag reference in North Macedonia? I think we can all agree the Japanese Empire was the worst part of the Japanese Empire. We had the two-state solution. Now get ready for the no-curd-left-behind policy. We're gonna have to stretch all the way through Iran, but I'm sure they're gonna be cool with this. Their nation will be divided in half, but I, I think they want that, right? Also, Turkey will be pretty all right as well. No one is gonna be upset about this. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be even less controversial than, you know, what's going on here. Surprise, surprise. Wait, if it's a no- no Kurd left behind policy, shouldn't even the Kurds in like Berlin or Paris or even the USA also be included? I think we're gonna have to do that. Hey guys, just drew this map of Europe from memory. What do y'all think over here? Honestly, horrible job. This looks pathetic. First of all, the Ottomans collapsed over a hundred years ago. Also, Poland looks like a pancake. You drew Lithuania way too big. Also, um, Finland? Are you forgetting something? What the hell is all this? Where is Russia? It's almost kind of strange how you just used their old name. Is this person trolling? I think they're trolling. Imagine thinking there's a nation called the Timurid Revolt. Really, guys? This has got to be the worst map drawer I've ever seen in my life. When was this guy born? Before the Iberian Wedding, which united Spain? I can literally only just see pixels here in Germany. Do better. Um, question? Why don't the Slavic nations all just unite? I mean, they have a shared culture and history. I think they'll have a great time. Surely they love each other because of their shared culture and history. Heart, heart. That's what I'm saying. This would be the most peaceful thing ever. Imagine thinking this would end in just a crazy bloody revolt with like tons of genocide. While we're on that subject, why doesn't Greece and Turkey unite? Are they dumb or something? Gotta admit, these borders do look pretty good. Fun fact, that's why I brought these guys as plushies. It's me actually advocating for the Hellenic Turkish Union. Or Helleno-Turkism, which is in fact a thing, y'all. So let's start taking it more seriously. Been going on since the 11th century. Do you really expect me to believe these two modern day countries despite 
despise each other's guts? I don't think so. God separated Greeks and Turks because he knew if they were one species, they would conquer the world. Don't you want to reform a Mongolian empire, guys? Come on. We can even name their capital city this. European children's biggest fears. They must have interviewed Sully and Mike for this info. In the UK, it's height? Oh, they don't want to be too short. I see. At first, I thought they were afraid of being too tall. That's what happened to me. <laughs> Thank God he didn't make it. In France, it's monsters. Okay, clearly uh, Mike Wazowski is just being really mean to France, I guess. In Spain, it's clowns, and in Portugal, it's be called to the blackboard. That's kind of messed up that they do this in Portugal. I feel like they didn't make us ever do this in school. They knew how freaky it was. In Italy, it's running out of food. Even the children in Italy always thinking about their food. It's so good. I don't even blame them. I love how all the Yugoslavian nations have monsters. They could have just said the reformation of Yugoslavia, though. I mean, it's not like there's any monsters carried than that. Why are the Albanian children thinking of this? I have to admit, at least they're the only ones on here with like a legitimate fear. Well, actually, I have to admit, I think I understand the <laughs> Icelandic children. I feel like it's reasonable for everyone in Iceland to be afraid of this. What the hell is resection, Denmark? Resection? Is that what happens when your Legos get crushed? The process of cutting out tissue or part of an organ. What? Denmark, are you teaching your five-year-olds surgical procedures? Of course, Germany. <laughs> Netherlands with gooses. I would make a joke about that, but gooses can be terrifying. I think Austrian children are living in tree houses. Earthquake, darkness, dogs go to the dentist. <laughs> Human right violations. That seems like quite the, um, quite the specific fear out of Belarus. I'm not sure I can imagine the Belarusian toddler saying, Human rights violations. Man, this data is so accurate, it's insane. A population density map of the continent of Africa. And you know it's true because they just nail the Sahara Desert. Obviously, no one lives in the Sahara Desert. And then everyone lives along the coast, especially Nigeria. And the Congo's such a big country country, like of course it's nice and bright like this, it almost feels like a flame or fire. Man, this thing is really detailed. You normally don't see population density maps this detailed. And to have the border fire too, which is kind of nice symbolizing all the other people that live outside of Africa, that's cool, that's a nice little touch. Man, this person needs to make more of these maps. And big thanks to my patrons. Kansas was mentioned. A fat normal Carl Amateur Archaeology. The beautiful Megan Edward Frederick Hamilton Headland. Without Inquisitor Zarius, John Gabino is best. Luxembourg loves heavy. Ride if you the hear pie. This, I love the Mexican 760. And Zany Boy 